Hello, it's Simone. I just received a package and it's already dark er, outside. Super glim. It's raining here. <clears throat> but I nevertheless really wanted to show you uh, what I got. New pen day. Uh, I have already unpacked it and looked at it and inked it up. So uh, this is kind of a new impression. I ordered from Franklin Christoph um, on Monday. Today's Thursday and it's already here. Isn't that amazing? So um, last week they shared a photo where they said that they um, would try to send out all of the items from their pen sh online pen show on Monday, February 28th. And I was like, they had a pen show? Oh no, what if the pen that I had been saving and working towards with daily walking um, every day in February, what if they had sold that pen? So I quickly went to the website and I found that the Franklin Christoph model 45 in the vintage green wasn't available anymore and my heart sank. But um, I just left a comment on their Instagram saying that my pen had sold and that now I would have to pivot to something else. And then someone from Franklin Christoph reached out to me and asked me what pen exactly that was and that they would check um, when they would go back to the office to see if it was still there uh, because they sometimes keep some of them just to make sure that they would be able to fulfill all of the that they wouldn't oversell. The next day they got back to me and told me that they didn't have one in stock right now, but there was one produced at the moment and that if I wanted that, I would have to reach out to their, the, they gave me an email and address that I would have to send to and then they would send me an invoice and would ship that pen out to me. So I indeed actually received the Franklin Franklin Christoph model 45. Let me quickly move something around. Wow, this is a weird angle, but it's really close to the window. So here it is. This is the model 45 from Franklin Christoph in vintage green. There is a, an etched in There you can see it right here, the Franklin Christoph logo. And then there is also here, right here, it is etched in Franklin Christoph 45. This is what it looks like. Um, it has a very interesting feature that I didn't know of and I just found that out. Um, the last time I watched some videos, the screw mechanism isn't here in the back, but it's right up here. So the cap screws on right here. You can see the, um, see it right here. And so it screws on like that, and then it is closed. It has, comes with two cartridges, which I have actually flushed out one of them, this one, and then a blue and a black one. This model is not big enough to house a converter, so you will have to either use store-bought cartridges or flush them out. The uh, nib that I got for this is a medium SIG nib. Uh, SIG stands for... Um, Wow. Let me check. Stub Italic Gradient. Um, and I got it in a medium size because I, that's just the size that I really enjoy. Let me just open my notebook and show you what it looks like. 
Um, I have tested it. I have inked it with Diamine Black Ivy. This is a uh, an ink, a sheening ink from the um, Inkvent calendar from 2021. This is what it looks like on the um, coloring cards. Uh, this is Tomori River paper, and let me just write. I have this stupid knot here that annoys me already. Okay, so. Okay, so that is exactly what makes this experience um, weird. <laughs> I think. Well, I haven't found a lot of information about these sig nibs. I can actually hold it without the uh, nib, uh, not, not nib, the cap posted, but it definitely looks um, works. And then this is what it looks like with the cap posted. Um, it fits okay in my hand. Let me put this pink hair tie away. Um, but, and my hands are quite big. I will grab some pens in a second. So Franklin Christoph um, 45, and this is a Sig Medium. And Sig stands for stub italic gradient and then we have a diamine ink vent 2021 black IV downstrokes look like this Side strokes look like this. Figure eights look like that. And what I have experienced while I was testing this out before is hard starts. Um, so when I'm writing, then um, I'm sometimes the first letter doesn't write, and also the line gets thinner while I'm writing um, but I think I need to figure out if this is because I just am not handling the nib correctly or if this is something that they could fix at a pen show or so. So um, I'm going to show you some comparisons to other fountain pens next um, when I get back. Alrighty, I am back for um, telling you the story of this Franklin Christoph Model 45 pen. I, um, when I filmed the first clip, the pen, the nib had a, ver had a very hard start and that happened for quite a while and <clears throat> I, that was quite, quite disappointing. I really need fountain pens to write out of the box, which I know is not something that you can expect from every pen. So on March 3rd is when I received the pen. That's when I filmed the first clip. I think I showed this to you. It had a hard start while I was trying to show it to you, but then it started. On March 4th, I showed this pen to my husband uh, because he was wanted to know what I had purchased and then the pen wouldn't write again. Um, <clears throat> and I know that if I... Um, all of the fountain pens that I own at the moment and that I have inked at the moment will write even if they have been sitting in my uh, pen case for several days, maybe even a week before I write with them again, I open them up and I write. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a Twisby Eco T. It has 
Aurora and Klinger Altgold Grün inside. And I open it, unscrew it, and it writes. Or um, this is a Pilot Custom 74. I don't even know what ink is in here. Um, it is Vinta Cicatuno Sandugo. I haven't tested this in a while. I, let me just, and then it writes. It's, uh, there is this tiny bit of, um, let me zoom in a tiny bit so that you can see. Um, this tiny bit of where it doesn't write, but the ink flows immediately. That didn't happen with this pen at all. Um, even if I had it open for uncapped for like two seconds, it would not write. So what I decided to do, um, I know that the nib unit that is used in the um, uh, Franklin Christoph is a Yovo number no. five nib unit. And I did or do have another pen that uses Yovo number no. five nibs with the same unit nib housing, uh, which is the Opus 88. And so I decided to take the nib unit from the Opus 88 uh, and put it in the Franklin Christoph to see if uh, maybe I just got a bad nib, which I don't really think because those nibs are ground um, <clears throat> by Franklin Christoph's own nib grinder. And I don't think that they would send out that they would miss a nib that doesn't work. Um, so I would say that the nib not working because something is wrong with it is has a very small chance um, I mean it doesn't mean that this would slip through the cracks at some point I'm not saying that that would never happen but I think the chances that it doesn't uh, work from is are slim so now I didn't flush the nib unit when I received it so that could be a thing. Maybe I needed to flush it and then the ink would work or maybe um, <clears throat> it needs a different pen. Um, and then this has a completely different filling mechanism than this one um, and maybe it works. So what I did was just to see if, if I would get a nib in here. I could actually buy a nib unit and just replace the SIG nib with a regular medium nib and that would be fine. I put, the first thing I did, I, I unscrewed the Opus 88 nib and put it in the Franklin Christoph Model 45. I haven't written with this in two days. So today is Sunday, that was Friday. And let's see what happens. So I'm working, it, it's writing right away. Let me write the date here, March. 06, 2022. That is such a huge difference to what I experienced with this pen um, the first two days I had it. <clears throat> so then I was, I was happy that I was able to use this pen with a nib, um, even if it wasn't the original nib that I purchased it with. But yeah, so that works. I'm happy now finally and um that really it needs to work for me in order to like the 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 satisfaction of it works right out of right out of the box and the satisfaction that i was able to fix this so good so then i decided okay let me flush the nib um and screw it into this fountain pen and ink it up with a different ink because Another thing that I have learned while watching so many YouTube videos, maybe the ink is too dry for that nib and that's why it doesn't flow. Could be, but seeing how, seeing that this is a diamine ink, seeing that all of the diamine inks that I have aren't super dry writers, they're not super wet, but they're really awesome performing inks in any of the pens that I own. So I wasn't 100% sure that that was the reason why it didn't work, but I didn't want to take any chances. And I also uh, had planned to ink up this pen in the next cycle of 
pen inking. So I screwed the snip in here. I flushed it first. So yes, I eliminated the... It is new and needs to be flushed. So that could be a reason. I am planning on once this whole... Um, once I'm emptying out both of these pens to swap out the nibs again and see if I can make this pen work, this nib work in this pen. But for now, I'm super happy that both of them are working. So I had opened this now while I was talking. So I'm unscrewing this. I know I don't have to do this for, and then let's see if it, see, the only thing I needed to do was push down once. Yes, it's still not exactly the same as the other fountain pens, but this on the Friday when it was not, when I hadn't used it for overnight, I needed to actually um, lick the, well, lick, I did it with my finger, but I needed to to a stroke, use water and um, get the ink flowing like that. So that is definitely a, an improvement and when I was sitting here thinking about what I'm writing every time I would stop writing and sit here for two four five seconds um, to write with this nib it would have a hard start and I would have to make it work and try and make it work use my finger um, so I'm super happy that I was able to get this um, nib working in this pen I'm might let's see how it works i might definitely uh, come back and once i'm done with this ink rotation um once i swap it back um share the experience moving forward just so that you you can learn with me if you're not further much further in your fountain pen journey as i am excited about this wow see and I'm also really excited and happy how this nib actually performs. It has just the tiniest, slightest variation um, that makes it a little bit more interesting to write with. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you was, I, I, I brought this with me just in case I needed to show it to you. I wanted to show you a size comparison with the Kaweco pen. So here is a Kaweco, here is the Model 45, and um, Cat, the Model 45, is longer than the Kaweco by about one centimeter, I would guess. Um, then let's uncap it. Um, uncapped, the Model 45 is about um, half a nib longer than the Kaweco. Yep. Then let's post them. Post it. There's a huge difference. So this, well, I feel like there's a, a, a bigger difference. The nib is bigger as well. So this is what it looks like. And then let me just grab that Twisby just so that you can see um, a size comparison as well. Let me close it again. Close this one. Should have done this before. Here is a size comparison between the Twisby, the Franklin Christoph, and the Kaweco. Uncapped. I'm not gonna open the Kaweco again because we just saw that this is uh, the difference in those. I personally do not do not post my egos, but if you were posting them, then <laughs> you have a monster fountain pen and not such a monster fountain pen. What I really love about this pen and why I actually purchased this is because this is just such a timeless, very <clears throat> retro is the wrong, modern, um, simple, minimal, reduced, but still has 
you know, these the tamper down um, cap here, it's tampering down here. It is just so beautiful and minimal. And yeah, it speaks to my architect heart. And then I don't know if you saw this before, but this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this <laughs> not so happy uh, beginning of my uh, Franklin Christoph journey. I'm super happy that I was able to make it work. Um, and I'll, I'll see you back with more um, adventures on the Signib front. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Let me know how you solve your fountain pen troubles when you're still a beginner. I would love to know what your how you troubleshoot and what you were able to make do. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye.